Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hey there, clean energy trailblazers. Welcome back to Renee Energy's YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that doesn't get much spotlight but could be a game changer in the hydrogen revolution, hydrogen embrittlement. It's a challenge that's lurking in the shadows of our renewable energy infrastructure, and we're going to shed some light on it. So, grab your metaphorical hard hats, and let's explore this critical issue. Understanding Hydrogen Embrittlement Let's start with the basics. Hydrogen embrittlement is a process where hydrogen atoms infiltrate a metal structure, causing it to become brittle and potentially fail. It's like a microscopic Trojan horse, weakening metals from the inside out. In the context of renewable energy, this phenomenon is particularly relevant to hydrogen production, storage, and transport infrastructure. As we ramp up our hydrogen economy, we're exposing more and more materials to hydrogen, increasing the risk of embrittlement. The tricky part? Hydrogen embrittlement can occur at room temperature and under normal operating conditions. It's not always about extreme pressures or temperatures, it can happen silently, over time, making it a sneaky adversary in our quest for clean energy. The severity of hydrogen embrittlement can vary widely depending on the material and conditions. In some cases, it can lead to sudden, catastrophic failure of components. In others, it might cause gradual degradation over time, reducing the lifespan of equipment. Either way, it's a serious concern for the long-term viability of hydrogen infrastructure. The Mechanisms of Embrittlement Now, let's get a bit more technical. There are three main mechanisms by which hydrogen can embrittle metals. Hydrogen Enhanced Decohesion HEDE. In this mechanism, hydrogen weakens the bonds between metal atoms, making it easier for cracks to form and spread. It's like hydrogen is playing the role of a molecular wedge, prying apart the metal structure from the inside. Hydrogen Enhanced Localized Plasticity HELP. Here, hydrogen increases the local plasticity of the metal, leading to localized deformation and eventual failure. It's as if hydrogen is creating tiny weak spots throughout the metal. Hydride formation. In some metals, hydrogen can form brittle hydride phases, dramatically altering the material's properties. This is particularly problematic in metals like titanium and zirconium. Understanding these mechanisms is crucial for developing effective mitigation strategies. It's like knowing your enemy's tactics in order to build the right defenses. The exact mechanism at play can depend on various factors, including the type of metal, the environmental conditions, and the stress state of the material. Often, Multiple mechanisms might be operating simultaneously, compounding the challenge. Vulnerable materials and renewable infrastructure. Not all materials are equally susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement. High-strength steels, commonly used in pressure vessels and pipelines, are particularly vulnerable. The very properties that make these steels attractive for high-pressure applications, their strength and hardness, also make them more susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement. Titanium alloys, which might be used in specialized components due to their excellent strength-to-weight ratio, can also be significantly affected by hydrogen embrittlement. This is particularly concerning for aerospace applications of hydrogen technology. On the other hand, austenitic stainless steels and aluminum alloys generally show good resistance to hydrogen embrittlement. This knowledge is crucial for designing hydrogen-compatible infrastructure. For example, the selection of materials for electrolyzers, which are at the heart of green hydrogen production, needs to carefully consider hydrogen embrittlement resistance. The same goes for storage tanks, compressors, and distribution pipelines. In practice, this means that engineers might choose to use austenitic stainless steels for hydrogen-containing components, even though they're more expensive than regular carbon steels. It's a case of paying more upfront to avoid costly failures down the line. Detection and Monitoring Detecting hydrogen embrittlement before it leads to catastrophic failure is a significant challenge. Traditional non-destructive testing methods like ultrasound or X-ray inspection might not catch the early stages of embrittlement. Researchers are developing new techniques to address this. Acoustic emission testing, for instance, can detect the sound of microscopic cracks forming. This technique works by listening for the high-frequency sounds emitted when a material is under stress. 
It's like giving our infrastructure a super sensitive hearing aid. Hydrogen sensors embedded in materials could provide real-time monitoring of hydrogen concentration. These sensors can be based on various technologies, including palladium-based thin films that change their electrical resistance in the presence of hydrogen. Some cutting-edge work is even looking at using quantum sensors to detect hydrogen at the atomic level within materials. These sensors, based on nitrogen vacancy centers in diamond, can provide unprecedented sensitivity and spatial resolution in hydrogen detection. Another promising approach is the use of fiber optic sensors. These can be embedded within materials or structures to provide continuous, real-time monitoring of strain and temperature changes that might indicate hydrogen embrittlement. Mitigation Strategies Now, let's talk solutions. How can we build a hydrogen economy without falling victim to embrittlement? Here are some strategies. Material Selection Choosing hydrogen-resistant materials where possible is the first line of defense. This might mean using austenitic stainless steels or nickel alloys in critical components. For instance, type 316 liters stainless steel is often used in hydrogen applications due to its good resistance to embrittlement. Surface treatments, applying coatings or surface treatments can create a barrier to hydrogen penetration. For example, electroplated nickel or specialized ceramic coatings can significantly reduce hydrogen uptake. Some companies are developing advanced coatings that can reduce hydrogen permeation by up to 99%. Stress management. Since stress accelerates hydrogen embrittlement, designing components to minimize stress concentrations is crucial. This might involve changes in geometry or improved welding techniques. For example, using rounded corners instead of sharp edges can reduce stress concentrations. Environmental control. Controlling the purity of hydrogen and minimizing exposure to other corrosive agents can help reduce the risk of embrittlement. This includes careful control of moisture levels, as water can accelerate hydrogen uptake in some materials. Periodic inspection and replacement. Implementing rigorous inspection schedules and preemptively replacing critical components can prevent failures due to long-term hydrogen exposure. This might involve using advanced non-destructive testing techniques on a regular basis. Hydrogen trapping. Some alloys can be designed with specific microstructures that trap hydrogen atoms, preventing them from causing damage. This approach is being explored for next-generation steel alloys for hydrogen applications. Emerging Solutions The field of materials science is constantly evolving, and new solutions to hydrogen embrittlement are emerging. Here are some exciting developments. Nano-engineered materials. Researchers are developing materials with nanostructures that can trap hydrogen atoms, preventing them from causing damage. For example, some teams are working on steel alloys with nanoscale precipitates that act as hydrogen traps. Self-healing materials, some cutting-edge materials can actually repair small cracks as they form, potentially counteracting the effects of hydrogen embrittlement in real time. These materials often contain microcapsules of healing agents that are released when a crack forms. Computational modeling, advanced computer simulations are helping us understand hydrogen material interactions at the atomic level, leading to the design of more resistant materials. These models can predict how hydrogen will behave in different alloys under various conditions. Bio-inspired solutions, some scientists are looking to nature for inspiration, studying how certain microorganisms handle hydrogen to develop new protective strategies for materials. For instance, some bacteria produce enzymes that can efficiently process hydrogen, and researchers are exploring how to mimic these processes in synthetic materials. Smart alloys, researchers are developing alloys that can change their crystal structure in response to hydrogen, effectively locking the hydrogen in place and preventing it from causing damage. These materials could potentially self-regulate their hydrogen content. The bigger picture. While hydrogen embrittlement is a significant challenge, it's important to put it in context. Every energy technology has its materials challenges, from thermal fatigue in solar panels to corrosion in wind turbines. The key is recognizing the issue and addressing it proactively. By doing so, we can ensure that hydrogen embrittlement doesn't become a roadblock on our path to a clean energy future. Moreover, the solutions we develop for hydrogen embrittlement could have spillover benefits in other industries, from aerospace to nuclear power. For example, the advanced materials developed to resist hydrogen embrittlement could also find applications in high-performance aircraft or next-generation nuclear reactors. It's also worth noting that as we transition to a hydrogen economy, we're not starting from scratch. Industries like oil and gas have been dealing with hydrogen embrittlement for decades, and we can learn from their experiences. The challenge is adapting and scaling these solutions for the much larger hydrogen infrastructure we're envisioning. Conclusion And there you have it, folks. 
hydrogen embrittlement might not be the most glamorous topic in renewable energy, but it's a critical challenge that we need to overcome to build a robust hydrogen economy. From understanding the mechanisms of embrittlement to developing cutting-edge detection methods and innovative materials, scientists and engineers are working hard to ensure that our hydrogen infrastructure is safe and reliable. Remember, addressing challenges like these is what turns a good idea into a transformative technology. Every solution we develop brings us one step closer to a world powered by clean, green hydrogen. The future of energy is green, it's exciting, and it's being built on a foundation of innovative solutions to complex challenges. As we continue to push the boundaries of renewable energy, it's these hidden challenges that often drive the most significant innovations. If you're fascinated by the technical challenges of the hydrogen economy and want to learn more, don't forget to check out our comprehensive green hydrogen development and financing course at reneenergy.com. We cover everything from production technologies to infrastructure development, giving you a 360-degree view of the hydrogen revolution. Stay curious, stay innovative, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in clean energy. Until next time, this is Renee Energy, tackling the hidden challenges of the hydrogen economy. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoyed the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.